hi there, it's Tracy here from the Paper Craft Studio. Thank you for joining me today. So I'm going to show you how to make this cute little gift box. And I designed it um, with popping a little pack of tissues inside. Now, um, it's, it's kind of a little handbag pack or something. Um, so you can find them easily in your bag. But of course, you could put other things in here to fit a little like nail varnish and lipstick or something like that. Some money, um, some chocolates, always good. So let me tell you the supplies you need, really not too many. You'll need a piece of um, basic black cardstock, which measures seven inches by seven inches. Um, let me just show you this paper actually. It's called Naturally Gilded and it's uh, an online exclusive. So you can hop onto that section on my um, shop. There's some details below and um, you get this really lovely copper one here, but you also get gold and silver and you get two sheets of each. Um, so really, really nice um, designer series paper there. So just to um, go back and say uh, seven by seven on this one, you need a piece of designer series paper, which measures four and a quarter by two inches. Um, and then I'm just going to show you this ribbon here that I've used. So it's a combo pack. You get this one here, which I didn't use in it. So really nice, kind of burlapy looking one. And then this one here, which you can see I did use because I've got that much left. So I use this in my class, but this is a really cute one here. And I thought it picked out really well, the copper in there. Um, so that's all the supplies you need, really. And I've used um, this, um, what they call Dragonfly Punch. Uh, that's in the main catalogue um, still, so along with the punches. So let me go ahead and show you how to score this. Bring in my scoreboard. Oops, this is out the way. So, um, so on one side you want to score at um, one inch, at three and a quarter, at four and a quarter, and at six and a half. And then rotate it once and you're going to score on this side now at one inch at five and a half and at six and a half inches okay so that's all the scoring done so first of all we're going to fold on all the score lines just looking for a bone folder here i thought i had everything out ready sorry i'm just gonna stretch over here and get one so score on, and um, sorry, fold on all the score lines. Give them a little burnish with your bone folder. So you might hear my cat Ziggy scratching in the background to go out of the window. She does actually have a cat flap, so you know <laughs> she can't get out. She's <laughs> just really lazy. Okay, there we go. And I thought this really worked for autumn, lovely autumn colours. Okay, so um we're going to it's quite hard to see these lines on here isn't it but on this side on the side where there's a really small um section down here we're going to remove actually let's turn it this way sorry this is so you want one uh kind of score line at the bottom and the two at the top okay so now it's on this side you're just going to remove this corner rectangle here and as always i'm just going to cut in and um put flower pots but i'll just cut that first so you can see which bit I'm taking off. And then along all of these, you can either cut straight up the score line and then come in and do your flower pots. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So um, actually, we're only doing that, thinking about it. So you can either cut straight up all of them and then come back and do the flower pots or you can do it in one go. So all I mean by that is you're coming in at the bottom, cutting up into the corner. And it just helps at the bottom here, make it a really neat closure. OK, let's take that piece out. So like uh, on this one, I'm just going to go do a triangle, cut the triangle either side of that score line. 
So the same effect is however you choose to do it. So all the way along here, including the very last one. So you should have that. And then along the top, a bit of a different cut this time. There's quite a lot to take off. So um, if you have it around here, so let's have a look. This short side here, I've got towards me. And we're going to remove these four sections here. Okay, so the ones next to this small fold here. So we're going to just cut right along. So one, two, and then two down as well. Okay, so that's where you're up to now. And then I'm just going to spin it towards me and I want to cut down these two here um, to create tabs. So straight down these two score lines here. So one... Oh, I couldn't move my scissors in. And two. Oh, they're getting stuck. They got a bit of glue on, maybe. Okay, so we're going to leave this piece as it is for now, the middle section. We're going to cut off this top little section here off of both of these. And then on these two tabs here, we're just going to do a little flower pot again. on each of these. So the, the actual main flap we're keeping as straight lines. So that's where you should end up. And I'm just checking actually if I snipped anything off. No, I didn't. Um, yes, so I don't know if you want to take a quick screenshot of that. So let's turn it around. This is the bottom of the box and this is the top. So next to this, this kind of skinny edge here, you're taking most of that out. We might need to take a little bit off of these um, towards the end. You can see mine springs up a bit. Uh, I've taken a little bit too much off, so but we'll do that once we've put the box together. Okay, so we're going to put some tape um, on this edge here. So this edge is going to fold over and that's going to fold to there. So along this sort of thin edge here, actually, I'm just going to take a little notch out of that top as well. So we've got one at either end. So top and bottom of that skinny strip there we're going to take out. And then on this side, as it's bunching up like a little kind of table, I'm going to put tape along here. Okay. And that's going to then, if you have it flat like that, this one will fold over just exactly in the right place. Okay. Now I'm just going to work out which one I want to go last. So it's this one, because that's going to face the back of the box. So I'm also going to put tape. So we've got it on that side, on this strip. We're going to put it along here on the wrong side of the box. So that's going to seal it at the bottom. So you've got one on one side and these two strips on the other side. Okay, so have this folded over. So this strip and the one next to it, take the backing off. Can I see my little tool? And that, like I say, would just fold over like that. And then the bottom of the box, you're going to fold the two small tabs in, then this one without the tape, and then finally this one with the tape. So let's take the backing off. And of course, you could use glue on this if you wanted to. So when you're sealing the bottom of the box, when we do flower pots, you'll see it wiggles a bit. Just make sure you kind of line it up straightish, so then it will stand. Okay, so you can have a look and see if you have some tissues to put in, and you can see if that's going to close. Um, or if you need to take a bit off and I can see I need to take a bit off you don't have to put the tissues in to find that out but take the smallest smallest piece and then you can always trim the other side as well and just keep going until you've got kind of quite a snug fit but not so snug that it won't open <laughs> um, and we're going to put a little notch in there as well so I think I know to bend that a bit I'm going to do a tiny bit off this side as well but you know, slither we're talking. You can just keep going back. Okay, so I'm going to take the tissues out for now. So we're going to decorate. So this side is the front of the box, so this flaps at the back. Um, and before we stick this on, which I didn't do on this one, and it was a real struggle to get it on afterwards, um, I've cut two pieces of this lovely uh, copper ribbon. So the one we're going to wrap around here measures uh, two and a half inches. So a bit wider than that, so that we can just pop a glue dot around the back to stick that in place. 
Okay, so I had mine fairly near the bottom. There is kind of a pattern to this one, so I'm going to put mine about here. So I'm going to put a glue dot on either side. About the same. And then pop one end on the back. Much easier than adding it afterwards. It was, I was thinking, oh, I need something else. Oh, I've done that a bit too far earlier, actually. I'm going to move it across a bit otherwise I won't have enough to stick around um yeah it was a bit of an afterthought last time and um it was tricky to get the ribbon underneath so um it's not very straight at all Tracy <laughs> you can spend a bit more time if you like kind of getting it a bit straighter that's fine okay then pop some glue liquid glue on the back of this one Okay, and then we're going to pop it on the box and it will have a little border all the way around. So, of course, you could use different designer series paper um, and ribbon on here. Now, if you've got tissues, pop them in because it's easier to um, stick it down. If not, flip it over and you can run your bone folder on the inside. But this kind of gives you something to press down on. There we go. Like I say, if not, just... Um... <laughs> bone folder gone again just pop the box upside down and and um pop the bone folder around okay so uh to get this little closure at the top um we are going to so i've got another bit of the ribbon here i've uh, measured it six inches um i did it at five inches in class because i had to make it last but it was really difficult to tie so i'm going to tie it before we put it in the box so just loop it around like this and i use the looped end to just kind of tie a knot on itself. So literally just tying the, the ribbon in a knot, putting the loop through this one, and then sliding it down so that we just have that little loop at the top, like that. Um, and you can, you know, it's flattened it, but you can then just spread it out and um, actually do that after we put it on so I've got quite a lot at the bottom here but it was just easier to tie and we can trim that off so we need to pop a hole in the top of this box and I have a crocodile but whatever punch you have or you could use a, a take your pick tool and something spongy on underneath um, and put it in so I'm just going to use the small one here so I'm going to flip this over so that I can get this in and I, so I want it roughly in the middle of this section here did I go in from the side? No. I'm just going to open it up a bit more so I can get it roughly in the middle. It will be roughly as well. There we go. Actually, <laughs> that's not too bad. Um, and then kind of make a point at this end of the, the loop. Um, that's the easiest way I found to push it through that hole from the inside. Pull it through and then just trim off you know make sure you're not secure there and just trim off um, those extra bits and that's the easiest way I found to pop that through and then like I say you can just kind of round off that top edge again sweet okay oops pushed it down too far now there we go it's easier once there's something inside actually and then um we're going to add a couple of dragonflies so actually i'm just using the bit that i cut off from the top um that long section we cut away so we're going to punch two of the mini dragonflies so you get the two on this punch it's really sweet and i haven't used it in such a long time there we go um and we're just going to bend his wings up a little bit and pop a glue dot on the back of each one If, it's, if your glue dots look too big, just kind of roll it a little bit and um, then they won't show. So I'm going to put one on the little ribbon and one on the back of this little guy. And let's put him up here amongst the little flowers. And then I thought, they needed to pop a little bit so i am going to put a little rhinestone which actually again i haven't used for a long time i love rhinestones um so we always need a little bit of bling on the project so i'm going to pop one 
on his body there and then oops, another one on this little chap okay and there you have it this is my um naturally gilded pocket tissue box i hope you enjoy making it take care see you soon bye <laughs>